Uh, I've been playing with uh, the idea of an um, add-on or a script rather for the automatic um, UI for Stable Diffusion. Um, here's my script loaded here. Um, and it's got its own, what I call companion UI, uh, separate user interface, um, which looks like this. And the idea is it allows you to sequence parameter variations over time as you generate many frames. Um, so I won't get into the details of how all this works, but basically you edit your values and specify oscillators and interpolations and stuff like that in a, in a grid and render the values down. Um, so here I've got the values for uh, a third prompt weight. If I change that and re-render it, um, you can see that fluctuating there. I'll just set it back. Um, and uh, you can choose uh, variations for everything you'd expect. There's some prompt weights. Um, there's the denoise, uh, denoising strength, um, and you can do transformations like um, zooming as well. Um, so I've got an oscillating zoom there, and then those prompt weights will be applied to different prompts. I'm going to change this soon, I think, to be a single prompt template where you can reference the uh, the prompt weights. A few configuration options there for for videos and so on. Um, uh, I mean frames per second and so on. Um, and then if you hit render. Uh, the, dumps out a huge amount of JSON, basically a, a manifest with the parameters for every single frame uh, that you want. And in this case, um, I've asked, I've defined keyframes uh, up to 200 frames. So there's going to be, well, including 0, 201 frames. Anyway, I copy that big blob of JSON uh, and go and paste it across into the actual um, into the actual UI here. Um, and uh, the, the um, the script supports both loopback on fixed images um, and also videos as input. In this case, I'm doing a loopback on a fixed image. Um, and uh, I can start running this and, uh, and uh, start to get some output. Um, so we can see that's running. Um, there's also a dry mode which will bypass stable diffusion and just allow you to make sure um, that your transforms are doing um, what you expect and you can overlay the parameters as well so you can see whether that makes sense. Um, and uh, I'll just stop this because I've, I've already run it. So yeah, it is still, still running, that's good. So I'll just interrupt that for now. Um, and if I flip over here, this is uh, the output, or rather this is two combined videos. At the top there, I've got the try run that just shows the fixed image and the zoom and so on. And I can also see how my parameters are varying uh, throughout over time. So I can see I've got my denoise changing, I've got my zoom changing, I've got my prompt weights changing. And at the bottom here, you've got the actual um, the actual video there. So let's just maybe go into full screens. Um, probably I'll post this video separate so you can see it properly. Um, but yeah, so you get the idea, right? So you can fluctuate all those parameters. Uh, you can do a dry run if you like, so you can quickly see what your video looks like without actually getting the overhead of going through stable diffusion, and then you get your actual output. Um, so it's kind of fun. I don't know if it's useful, <laughs> but it's definitely fun. Um, it's also very rough around the edges at the moment, so feel free to have a play with it. It's all on GitHub, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, if you click up here. Um, it's all in here with a little bit of an explanation as well. Um, I haven't extensively tested it. It's probably broken in many ways. Um, but yeah, feel free to have a play with it and let me know what you think.